morning you guys it's Jess welcome back for another video so today I'm gonna to be working on some of my containers you guys I have a lot of planting I want to get done so let's go ahead and just jump right into it all right so I think I want to start with the easiest projects first so these are the two hydrangeas that you guys saw in my last video that I picked up on clearance from Walmart they have perked up beautifully like look at these blooms you guys so so pretty and massive so I definitely want to get them out of the little plastic basket things that they're in and plant them into these two pots so these are two pots that I picked up on clearance from one of my local nurseries they were half off and I love the design on them you guys they're like a deep brownish burgundy color I think it'll contrast the brick of my house really really nicely so I've moved them out into the Sun so hopefully you guys can see the color a little bit better it's really pretty deep burgundy brown color i think it's really really pretty y'all i am going to give these a slight little cleanup first and then we'll pot them up One stem that was broken off in the storm so I'm just gonna stake that one up for now Alright, so I got these two potted up and watered in and I think they're going to do fantastic. Alright, moving on to easy project number two. I want to pop out these two purple Super Tunia Bordeaux and replace them with some pink flowers. Just because that's kind of my theme that I have going on my front bed this year. I have pink down here. I want pink in my pots. The begonias that I planted lining the front are also pink and then I've got my pink hydrangeas and wreath so yeah I'm gonna switch out my pots so I picked up a six pack of these petunias they are a mix called total madness mix and they have a mixture of just pink purple white and red and I just want to use this pink I'm really a fan of the light color with the dark throat so I think I'm gonna pop in these two and then I'll plant the rest somewhere else in the landscape you guys so things have perked up a little bit I just popped in the red variety into this elephant planter here so down here in my front mailbox containers I popped in one of the extra I guess this was supposed to be purple but I think it's more of like a magenta pink of the wave petunias and then back here I popped in some of these gorgeous Super Bells Double Twilight. You guys know how I feel about my double blooms. I think this will be so pretty around the base of this tree. All right, y'all. So I finally got my black pots, you guys. I'm not sure if you watched my previous video, but I did ask you guys to leave me a comment down below whether or not I should paint that pot back there in the back black, which the majority of you guys did say yes. 
um, I was just really concerned that you wouldn't be able to see that pattern. So I'm not sure the lady's name, but somebody left a comment stating that she recommended that I just wait and find the black pots that I really want, which spoke to me. And lo and behold, I have finally found my black pots and I got these on a super discount deal, you guys. They are a little bit uh, discolored, which I'm just going to turn the pot around, but they do also need to be cleaned up. So I'm going to do a deep cleaning on the pot first, and then I'm going to move everything from that planter into this one. So excited. Right, you guys I got it all potted up and watered in and oh my gosh I love it so much y'all this is exactly what I envisioned in my head you guys just wait until I finish this entire area it's going to look amazing with all of my lighting oh I'm so excited so of course I will be going in and like shaping the topiary the way it should be I just want it to go ahead and grow out nice and full first and then I'll go back and shape it just because it is a little bit lopsided and we've got a bare branch sticking out there I'm just gonna let it grow and then I'll prune on it Cannot wait to see the little Calibrecoa plants fill in and the Lobelia perk up. They're just super wilted from me watering them in right now. But y'all, I love the black pot. It looks so good. So this rock area is, um, these are the rocks that I transplanted from the front of my garden back here. Not transplanted, transported. I don't know, I repurposed them back here. So my plan is to keep this in a nice semicircle shape. I know right now it looks kind of just thrown there as a rectangle but I will be going in and firmly edging this and shaping it once I'm done with all of my patio extension back here none of my beds back here are done by any means just because I want my patio done first and then I can formally shape everything um, also I will be going in and topping off my rock with some clean fresh white pebble um, just because I didn't feel like cleaning these I just put these here temporarily but I will top them off with some nice fresh white so it'll look so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my other pot and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of my fence. All right, you guys, so here we are on the other side of my house. This is my other entry gate on the west side. What I'm going to do first is remove this um, hibiscus plant here. I'm gonna transplant this over into rehab row temporarily until I figure out where I wanna put it. And then I'm gonna lay down some cardboard landscape fabric and my additional rock and then we're going to clean this pot and pot it up so let's get to work we've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna picking up a lot of friends fill up the car to live best because we wanna we wanna yeah we just wanna have fun the trunks full of wine we're gonna stay the time of our lives The night is in young Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance on our own We came to party all night long
good about these pots, they are 28 inches in diameter. So I'm just trying to level them out the best that I can. And I'm also using dollar bags of mulch. That's what you're seeing me dump into the pot out of this little tan container. I use dollar bags of mulch to fill the bottom and then I'm using the leftover potting soil from the previous potting and then topping that off with some fresh soil. So no, I do not pot these completely with soil to the bottom. Alright you guys, second topiary is all potted up and watered in and y'all, I am just so happy with how this turned out. Like I'm so excited to see my vision come together y'all. Like when I have a vision and I see it come to life, it just does something to me. It makes my soul happy. I'll have to find a picture of what my inspiration is and insert it so you guys can see like the total vision that I have in my head, but I just cannot wait to get my lights, have the topiaries beef out, fill in, and then the bottom plants fill in. It's just gonna look so gorgeous. So once the guys are done doing all their construction with extending my patio, I will come back in and redo my drip lines because clearly they're not even close to where the root balls need to be anymore. And then I will be remulching this area, also reshaping my little rock semicircle and topping that off with some pretty white rock, but. Yeah, y'all, I'm just so happy with how these two pots turned out. They look perfect. All right, you guys, so the sun has come out, so I think I wanna go ahead and tackle these planters while I'm underneath the shade of my awning. These are a trio that I picked up from Home Goods, and I think I wanna go ahead and just pot up the two big ones for now, and I'll leave the two small ones empty. So I just popped in one of my replacement allocasia that you guys just saw in my last video that was damaged by hail. Hopefully it will recover. And then around its base, I wanna pop in this gorgeous beauty here. This is Supertunia Vista Latte. So, so pretty. I love that creamy white vanilla with the chocolate throat. Oh my gosh, it's a pretty combination. Oh, I think that's going to look so pretty once it fills in. So I decided to pop in one of the clearance plants that I picked up from Lowe's. This is a Taiwan Red Ixora. It blooms spring through winter if you are located in zone 10. So I'm in zone 7B, so this will be treated as an annual, but it has gorgeous orange flowers. I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what it looks like in its full potential. And then for this trio over here on this corner, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Pop in a replacement alocasia, and then around the base, I'm actually going to pop in those two Super Tunia Bordeaux that I popped out of my planters up front. Um, so I'll have purple around the base on this side and white on the other side. This right here down on the front left corner is actually a hibiscus. I believe it's pink blooming. And then the pot on the bottom right, I'm going to leave empty for now just because the plant that I want to plant in there is not available in stores yet. Oh, it looks so much better to have something of color popped into that pot. Even though the leaves are shredded, I know they'll flush out with new growth. Sorry y'all, my camera died, so I was not able to film the rest of me potting up my plants, but I just wanna go through and show you guys what I did get planted. Starting with this one here, this is the plant that I got on clearance from Home Depot. This is a banana tree, and it also got damaged in the hail, if you guys watched my previous video on all the hail damage. So yeah, I got it potted up. I do have a few little babies down here that are trying to go, so I think it'll do okay. I'm just gonna leave the bad foliage until it starts to flush out with some more fresh leaves, but got that potted up. And then also for this pot over here, I actually found an extra plant in my garage that I forgot that I had, so I figured it would be perfect, potted underneath my hibiscus here. Again, this is the hibiscus that blooms those big, gorgeous, hot pink discs. So I popped in this calibrecoa down here. This one is called Tropical Sunrise. And you guys, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So it has a yellow throat 
and then yellow, pink, and magenta striped variegation. So, so pretty. I think it'll be a nice tropical combination over here. Okay, and then over here underneath my Pinky Winky Hydrangea Standard, I just potted up the base with two of these Snowstorm Snow Globe Cordatas. And I think they're just a sweet little dainty white flower with a yellow throat, and it'll fill around the base beautifully. Also, while I was at the garden center, I popped in a replacement here for the one that was not coming up. So now I have a nice completed full ring. I also found another Manhattan Euonymus to complete my hedge, you guys. The way this one was sitting in the nursery was up against some other plants, so this side is kind of like smashed. So I think I'm going to go get some stakes just to help train it to go back this way. But I initially got this as a replacement for this one that got smashed when they put all the dirt down here. And y'all, it's coming back. So all of this is new growth, so I'm just going to let this one be, do its thing. It'll catch up eventually. These are super fast growing evergreen hedges, so I'll have a nice hedge lining my property line going all the way to the street. All right, y'all, so for my last pot that I'm going to work on today, I'm going to be potting up the base of my hibiscus tree. I know, it's still bald. It will leaf out, trust me. This thing comes back every year. So I got four plants to plant around the bottom. These two here are Alternantheras, and then these are Impatiens, and I think they're gonna be gorgeous around the base. Hey, girl. What you doing, Jory? You enjoying the breeze? Love you. Okay, you wanna watch me plant, all right. Alright y'all, so I got the base all planted up and topped off with fresh soil. The two purple plants are the Alternantheras and then the two green ones are Impatiens. And I believe they bloom pink and white flowers, I'm not sure. Um, I did leave a little bit of space because I do have a begonia here that is trying to come back for a third season. So left a space for it just in case it decides to come up. If not, I still have it evenly planted. but. You guys, I cannot wait to see everything fill in. Oh, everything's going to be so gorgeous. Jax is loving his new cushion. So yeah, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's projects. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found some inspiration. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cool.